Well, good evening, folks. We hope you're having a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend here. It's the 26th of November here. We're live from Weather Trends uh, 360 studio here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We weren't so live yesterday. The studio decided to have a meltdown 10 minutes before going live on Fox Weather, but we uh, went to Plan B, which was, uh, again, not such a bad backdrop either. But again, studio failed us when we needed it most. Only about 28 days, 10 hours and 54 minutes until Christmas. So again, got a good solid four weeks before the Christmas arrives. We'll start here with a last week world summer here, and actually we'll end with a, a tour of a Longwood Gardens Christmas. Uh, it's always a spectacular display down here in southeast Pennsylvania. Uh, but uh, here, week ending tonight here, the big map for trends versus last year. U.S. here was about 0.5 colder than last year. Cold is in four years, 16th cold in 37 years. So below average national temperatures, again, several weeks in a row now. 37% wetter than last year, still 10th dry in 37 years, so below average. And uh, 38% less snow than last year, least in five years, sixth least in 37 years, below average nationally. All that snow fell in Buffalo, uh, downwind of the Great Lakes. So uh, don't tell them that it was a not-so-snowy week nationally. Uh, across uh, Canada, again, warmest in seven years. UK, warmest in 11. China, really warm. Warmest, number one, warmest in 37 years for them. Uh, cold spot down under in Australia, number one coldest in 37 years for their spring. Uh, Brazil, also pretty cool. Cold is in 26 years there. So colder in the southern hemisphere for their spring conditions. Maps since that left are the trends versus average. Snowfall season to date here. Now this is from about September to today. 321% uh, more than last year, 19% above average, 14th most in 37 years. We may tick away here at some of these uh, above average totals here as we go through the next couple weeks. So we may actually dip below uh, season to date snowfall, turning below average here by uh, early December. Thanksgiving Day, though, uh, here in the U.S., snow cover was about 22% of us had snow on the ground for Turkey Day. Uh, last year, only about 10%. So the most in four years, fifth most in 18 years. So again, above average snowy Thanksgiving uh, in terms of snow on the ground. Getting some snow down deep, uh, deep part of Texas here. This is a little unusual to have this much snow, but uh, far southwest Texas, uh, eight-inch totals here uh, today. We'll look at the next six days here, six-day snowfall trends here. And so again, some systems moving into the Pacific Northwest, Northern Rocky Mountains, and spill out in the Midwest here midweek, and then uh, fizzle a bit. Some lake effect snow as we get into the early December time frame. Hopefully nothing like we had recently. In fact, it probably won't be anything like we've had recently. So the six-day snow total here is, again, about 143% more than this time last year. Pretty much exactly average for this six-day period. We look at this week here, again, hard to believe we're getting into the first few days of December here, but uh, here in the U.S., about 4.7 degrees cooler than last year, 12th warmest in 37 years. So an above average week here this week, it'll be colder west, warmer east, um, rainfall up a bit, 115 percent. I'm sorry, rainfall's up 446 uh, percent versus last year, but still 18th driest, uh, near average in the middle of the pack of rainfall. Snowfall will be up, again, most in four years, still below average nationally, but again, living in, limited pretty much to that Pacific Northwest into the Midwest. We look at the second week of December here, on week ending 10 December, um, 4.5 4 .5 degrees colder than last year, making the coldest in six years, 15th cold in 37 years. So back to our below average conditions for the most of the country. Again, it'll be a cooling trend even in the east. We'll start off mild, but uh, gradually get colder and colder. Uh, precip, again, we'll see if it's this dry. Again, models are struggling to find precip in storms, but uh, again, some storminess from Texas into the uh, central Appalachians here. We just aggregate these uh, world two-week outlook trends here. Now you can see a uh, cooling, cooling trends again across Canada and the western two-thirds of the U.S. Europe also cooling off, and Russia continues their cold trends uh, across the much of much of Russia and even uh, parts of Siberia. We'll end here with the uh, sights and sounds of Longwood Gardens. If you haven't been down there, it's a great place to visit. Um, beautiful inside and outside, beautiful atrium inside. Uh, so again, worth checking out. So we'll end that here, and uh, you folks have a great week, and we'll talk to you here uh, next week. Mm -hmm.